In this video, we'll briefly discuss the coronary arteries and some of their important characteristics. So in this video, we have, we've highlighted the coronary arteries and their veins, and you can see that they take uh, quite similar paths. The myocardial cells receive blood via the right and left coronary arteries, shown here and here. The word coronary comes from the fact that they form a crown around the base of the heart. The base of the heart being here, and it, you can see that it, it looks like a crown. And the apex of the heart being down here. You'll also notice that very few anastomoses exist between the larger coronary arteries. So if we take a closer look here where the mouse is, this is the uh, major right coronary artery, you don't see any anastomoses. An anastomoses is a branch that comes off one part of the artery and then reconnects at a more distal point on the artery. This is important if uh, an obstruction is blocking the artery. However, with coronary arteries, very few anastomoses exist. So you can see how this can become a problem if there's an obstruction in the coronary artery, such as a coronary thrombosis. This can quickly result in ischemia and myocardial infarction. The right and left coronary arteries are the first branches to come off the aorta, the aorta being here. So these uh, two coronary arteries are the first branches to come off the aorta. Now, one important feature of the coronary arteries that differentiate it from other branches that come off the aorta, the, aorta, the aortic arch coming up here and other branches coming off it, is that most branches that come off the aorta fill with blood during ventricular contraction. So when the left ventricle contracts and pushes blood out into the aorta and into the aortic arch, most branches that come off fill with blood. However, the coronary arteries do the opposite. They fill not during ventricular contraction, but during ventricular relaxation. Now let's see how this works. In the picture on the left, the ventricle has contracted and blood is being pushed out into the aorta. So you can see the aortic semilunar valves Obviously, when the vent ventricle contracts, the aortic semilunar valve opens. And what it does, you can see in this image, is that it blocks the coronary arteries. So blood is flowing out into the aorta, but it's not able to get down into the coronary arteries. So during ventricular contraction, the coronary arteries are blocked by the opening of the aortic semilunar valves. However, as these aortic semilunar valves close during ventricular relaxation, the right and left coronary arteries become available or visible and the backflow of the blood down the aorta, which is pressing against the aortic semilunar valve and closing it, also allows blood to flow into the coronary arteries. Now finally, because the left ventricle has to pump blood to the entire body, it naturally has to work the hardest and therefore requires the largest supply of oxygen and nutrients. In order to explore this 3D image of the heart on your own, please click on the link at the end of this video and you'll be taken directly to an image where you can explore directly from BioDigital Human.